oh my lash coming up oh no anyways this is a long awaited video the party tour was in may and it's july but listen honey i had stuff to do so i had to put it on hold but now i'm back and i'm making a video so this video is dedicated to chris brown and the party tour and i'm gonna insert footage and i'm just gonna tell y'all all about it and how i'm so in love and even more in love and i'm gonna always be in love okay <laughs> let's hop into the video okay y'all so the chris brown party tour was may may 4th okay may 4th the day before his birthday in h-town hold it down at the toyota center and i'm gonna insert snaps and footage so y'all can see me as i'm painting a picture for y'all can see the picture as i'm painting okay y'all can see that i'm at the concert and that's the stage. I'm glad I didn't get floor seats because, um, yeah. Oh shit. Oh, I got to fall. This is 104, right? Yeah. So, yeah, at first I was sitting in the wrong seat. I was sitting too far up, and then somebody came and it was like, You know, you're right seat. I'm like, Yes, I am. But it was two seats. I mean, the second row from the bottom of the section i did not get a floor seat because last time at the chris brown concert i got a floor seat and i have i had to end up standing up in my chair because i'm short and then people also was like if you get a floor seat like earlier shows was like if you get a floor seat the stage is eight feet tall so yada yada so my seat was literally perfect like the stage was perfect i inserted a clip right here like perfect view of everything y'all i was so i was so in love oh my god oh my god so yeah so back let's backtrack this concert wasn't as packed as i thought it was gonna be i don't know why it wasn't i don't know why maybe real people really don't be messing with chris brown like i mess with him because i got to the toyota city early as crap i thought the lines was gonna be long i'm like oh lord jesus but no it wasn't all like i parked in front of the toyota center I actually, y'all, sat in my car and got a little lit because the line was long and they wasn't opening the doors. It says 7, but they wasn't opening the doors till 6.30 or something like that. So I sat in my car and was chilling till I seen them actually open the doors because I was right in front of the Toyota Center. I the Toyota Center. outside the Toyota Center is right there. And I'm trying to finish my Hennessy before I get out of my car, and y'all y'all okay and then what else i walked in and first thing i did was peep the scene it wasn't crowd the line for merch wasn't long at all so i purchased this shirt it says chris brown party tour and it's this weird green this is the back of it and it has the tour dates and all of that stuff so i purchased this shirt i also purchased this chris brown party shirt it says party and it has all of the tour dates on the back and these little pictures are different pictures of chris brown on it and i also purchased a shirt from fabulous a summertime shootout shirt so yes it was lit i spent about a hundred dollars to see i know each shirt was at least 30. so yeah i spent like a hundred dollars and my titty keep about to pop out and i just spent a hundred dollars on shirts Yikes. But I'm vlogging for my phone. So. Two. So, okay, walked in. I'll show y'all that. Walked to my seat, sat down. Of course, the concert did not start on time. DC Young Fly actually came out right right by us because I'll insert that. He came out right by us and we seen him. It's like, oh my god, DC Young Fly. I mean, I wasn't fangirling over DC Young Fly, but when you see somebody famous, it's like, wow, this is you. Like, this is you. So, like I said, DC Young Fly opened the show, and he was funny, and he was a fool per usual. Oh, no, you fucking lying! <laughs> I was also on DC Young Fly's snap. I'll insert the picture here because he was like Houston showing so much love, and I stopped and I screenshotted myself because I know that was my camera line. <laughs> Anyway, so then the first opening act was somebody, um, somebody I don't know, and I wasn't really paying attention to. I don't know what his name is. Let me look at my phone. It was somebody. Somebody I didn't know. I didn't know none of his songs, but I was just like, yeah, yeah, and I also didn't record him, so we could just skip over talking about him. Then 
Cap G came out, and y'all know that song about the girlfriend. That that song right there, he came out. He did a couple of songs. He was lit. I was like, ooh we, ooh okay, ooh okay, ooh okay. Then Fab came out, and of course I'm a Fab fan, so I was lit like big. I was lit like big, like. Fab was so bomb, and a lot of people don't. Fab, they was like, this one girl behind me was like, Fab not singing none of his songs. He's singing and remixed to his songs. He was doing a summer two, summer shootout two and one mixtape, honey. If you was a real fan, you would know. He didn't do a lot of his original songs. He just did like most of his mixtapes. So I was in that thing like, hey, you are the boy and flex for me. You Dress so lit, bro. Like, how? How fabulous? How are you so lit? Oh, we gotta rewind it because OT Genesis came out and he cripped my foot. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Hello. OT Genesis was so lit. Like, he had me fired up. I was like, hey, go get the money, go get the money. Go get the money, go get the money. Hey, cut it! Cut it! No! Ah! Push, push, push. Y'all, that concert was lit. And now, <laughs> to the main event. My bae, excuse these snaps and these videos because I was screaming my head off. Ryan, <laughs> like, I am a Chris Brown fan, y'all. Like, if you haven't noticed, like, my intro songs is Chris Brown, except for, like, the, this video. Well, this video is going to be Chris Brown, but everything else related on my channel are, are all of his songs and his instrumentals because. That's my baby. Oh, oh my God! That's my baby! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, but yes, yeah, like I love Chris Brown. I'm a fan, so I'm in there crying, screaming to the top of my. Oh, I have to say about this concert is I wish he was there longer I feel like I see everybody else longer than I saw Chris Brown like I feel like his set was really really short like I did not like that at all I was salty y'all I was really salty but he performed a lot of his, he did not perform nothing like no slow songs. He didn't perform like Take You Down or none of his slow like I Discovered. No, because it was a party. The theme of the tour. Like I seen people on Twitter complaining and I was just like, why is you complaining? It's a party tour. He not going to give y'all no slow ballads and no slow melodies on no party tour.
he performed a lot. He performed a lot. All of his fits, his outfits changes were amazing. Like he's amazing. I love him with my gay. But overall, I honestly can give the party to, out of out of one through five. I feel like the tour with Tyga and Trey Songs was better. Um, I didn't like all these no name artists. He also did bring out Cheddar the Connect and Bun B, R. I. P. Pim C. I remember those two people him bringing out he brought them out as well but yeah one out of five I will get a show uh, okay I will give oh I don't want to say this I will give the show the show a four a four because I wanted his set to be longer a four because I didn't want all them other people there like we came for you, you the party, you the party, you brought the party, that's it, like, we don't want to see nobody else, we don't, we don't want nobody else, we want Chris Brown, but other than that, yeah, it was lit, y'all, I really enjoyed myself, of course I was going to enjoy myself, because Chris Brown and I love him, so, yeah, but, the lighting was really nice, his dancers, bomb.com, y'all, like, he had, Hornets and girl, gymnastics and girl that was twerking. Uh, Like that part of the show was amazing. I could go back if I could go back, I would. And another thing is, y'all, like I didn't record a lot of the concert because I just wanted to be like in the presence because I did that for the Drake concert. I recorded a lot and like I wasn't really paying like I was paying attention, but it was mostly through my phone. But at this concert, I was looking like it's like Chris Brown is like right here. Like I'm right here and he's right here and it's like, well, this is the closest I'll ever be to this man ever in real life unless we meet again someday because we gonna get married so we gonna have to meet again. But like, and he's right here. And like, it's like not even looking at the screen, like looking at him from where I was sitting, I clear view of his face, his sweat, his everything. It was like, hey daddy, if you reach over, if you just fly over here, I can touch you. I, I can touch you. Right there, bro. Right there. But yeah, that was how I felt about the party tour, my experience, and a little bit of footage for y'all. Like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all in my next one.